This week, I want to talk about what you can control. And we've got a number of different podcasts where we've taken different twists on the circles of control, what you can't control, putting things out of your mind and not stressing them when you can't. Um, and I want to talk about the flip side of that, which is what you can control. And I've got a, I've got an example on this of something that's an epiphany, in fact, I had this morning um, around this sort of thing, which I want to talk through and then get a view from you guys and some examples on it as well. So to start with the what you can't control. So circles of control. Joe does this brilliantly. I used to have a, there was an office that had this on a flip chart and I used to flick back to the di same diagram time and time again. Um, for the example which is a circle and a bit of paper and what is in that is what you control what you influence and what's outside of that which is normally much much bigger is all the things you can't control so what's the weather going to be what's this person going to do how's this person going to react to this when will such and such happen that someone else is doing lots of things that you can worry about and build plans around and build contingencies for but all of which is completely outside of your control and you should not be worrying about fair assessment on circles of control jose yep it's all good very good in fact and i think conversely there's almost that human nature bit we talked about this a little while ago i think it was jose it was you and me when ryan was on his little excursion um, where we talked about the fact that almost, you, you know, the defence mechanisms kick in and there's a human nature around certain behaviours that you almost have to try and fight and turn the other way. And I think somewhat the, the third control falls in that where you you almost, it seems to be something generally people fall into the trap of trying to control all those things that are outside their sphere and you have to you have to fight against it. I think the converse is you can be almost blind to the things you can control. So where you've got to not focus on the things you can't control, I think you almost have to be as conscious of dealing with things you can control. And it's very easy to put up walls and barriers and excuses to not control the things you can. Ironically, while well, sometimes you're going to grab hold of the things you can't control. Um, and I was doing a bit of this, and I'll use a real example. We don't normally touch on the work stuff, but this is quite generalised, where for the last few weeks, I've felt a bit less organised than I want to. And a big part of that is how many meetings and what's in the meetings are in my diary in each day. Now, every single one of them that I'm in adds value and it's worthwhile time and I'm I'm glad I do them, but I'm feeling a little out of control of my time. And then it just suddenly struck me that I need to take back that control of my time. I, you know, I'm responsible for what's in my diary. I agree to everything that's there. And I can rejig how it's looked and how it's set and how it's done. And actually, I've actually set some time out this week where I'm going to take a step back for an hour, almost start, have a list of what I need to do and a blank diary and slot stuff in a logical way just so I don't have that out of control feeling. But for a few weeks, I've almost been putting it down to, oh, there's so much going on. But actually, that that is one of the few things that's actually completely within my control, or certainly a fast degree of it's in my control that I can I can talk to people about what's going on. And it kind of led to this line of thinking of the irony of not taking control of what you can control, whilst also trying to take control of all the things you can't control. And I think as much as we've talked about that avoiding those things are outside your circle of control. I think you have to be just as aware and put in just as much time and just as much energy to grabbing those things that are in your gift and absolutely putting your energy and maximising them and not falling into the trap of seeing you don't control those things. 